Hey guys, Toaster here. Today I'm going to be doing a little review on a Peter Atwood tool, and this is the G5 Pry Baby Royd Edition. Peter is a custom knife and tool maker, and he has a blog which is atwoodknives.blogspot.com. He does all of his sales off that site, but you got to be quick because his sales end within minutes. Um, if you're interested, the link will be at the bottom of this video. <clears throat> all right, so. The G5 Pry Baby Royd Edition is pretty much a normal. It's the exact shape of a of a just a normal size G5 Pry Baby, but super thick. And this is actually the thickest version of the Pry Baby that he has out. The first version was a little bit thinner and was actually stone washed rather than bead blasted like this one. You see there is a little leaf stamp right there. Um, I have this lanyard on mine because I actually carry it in my pocket rather than on my key chain just because the bead blast finish does scratch a little bit a little bit more easier. However, um it it does fit onto my Maritag gate clip, and this is the medium version. It it doesn't fit as easily as some of the other tools, but you can get it on there if you just get it just right. Uh, uh, maybe not. I've got it on there a couple times, but like I said, it's, it's difficult, so that's why I don't carry on my key on my keychain. How I carry it is in this leather sheath that. I had custom made by Rob Warrens at Warrens Gear over at WarrensGear.com. Awesome dude, very talented, as you can see. And I keep this lanyard on here, so just take it out of my pocket. Easy to take out and use. Um, this is an awesome sheath, guys. Very high quality leather. And what uh, Rob also does, go put a little gate clip and a key ring right here so if you really did want to carry it on I don't know necklace or even on your key ring just snap it on like so and there you go it's on your key ring all right let me do a comparison between a normal sized G5 pry baby which you got right here So you see they have the exact same shape, outline, and everything, except the Royd is much thicker stock. Very robust. Uh, this thing is a tank. There's no way this thing will break or anything. And it's actually a champ at opening bottles, which I will open a bottle at the end of this video just to um, show you guys how the bottle opener works. So there you go. They're the exact same length and everything. The only difference is the, s the thickness of the stock. Let me um, show you the card it comes with. <coughs> it reads... Pry Baby Royd Edition is made of super thick CPM 3V premium tool steel. Standard features include pry tool with a nail puller slash wire stripper notch and bottle opener. And then right here at the bottom says special G5 versions features six SAE wrench sizes and it gives you the sizes right there and then it says thanks for purchase purchasing and enjoy. Alright guys so let me show you how this works on opening bottles. Lift this up real quick. I got a bottle of Hinger 24 Orange Wheat and this is a local brew, brew out of uh, Redlands, California. Not sure if they sell this out of state, but if you're in Southern California area, you should be able to find this. And this stuff is delicious. Highly recommend it, guys. 
All right, let me see if I could get my technique right doing this behind a camera. Make sure I, oh yep, yeah, I'm in frame, okay. There you go. Opens like a champ. All right, bring this back down. All right guys, so that was my little review of the G5 Pry Baby Royd edition. And like I said, I'm pretty sure Peter is making more batches of these. Not sure if they're gonna be the exact same thickness and be blasted. <clears throat> but keep an eye out for them guys and hope you guys enjoy your day. If you guys like what you see, please subscribe and thank you guys for all the subs and comments. They are greatly appreciated.